Until a few years ago, a scooter was more like entertainment and transport for geeks, rather than a practical and efficient vehicle. However, rapid development of technology has turned the situation upside down. More recently, the world saw an electric scooter capable of accelerating to a previously unthinkable speed of 62 miles an hour. In this release, we invite you to meet a newly minted sports transport from the world of compact two-wheeled vehicles as well as to talk about other interesting developments related to the category of individual transport. This is the Innovative Text Channel, and we're getting started. Electric Scooter Dualtron X The brainchild of the Korean-Chinese company Mini Motors is the main guest of the release. This is a predator from the world of electric scooters called Dualtron X, with an impressive range of 93 miles. Moreover, an indicator mentioned is not the main feature of the presented machine, because the main weapon of this two-wheeled vehicle is its speed. The manufacturer claims that the new Dualtron is capable of accelerating to 63 miles an hour. For this, it has got two electric motors with a peak power of 6.7 kilowatts. It works in conjunction with an adaptive suspension that adjusts to the rider and is designed to effectively absorb vibration. Many bloggers and enthusiasts from the world of electric transport tried achieving the cherished 62 miles an hour. The vast majority of tests showed a maximum speed of 52 miles an hour. However, there are some cases when people reached 59 miles an hour. The controversy surrounding this issue has not subsided to this day. AKO Trike no less exciting is the following device, which was presented by Lithuanian engineers and received a sound name AKO. This is a high-tech electric tricycle. An appearance alone delights many people because this transport seems to have come to us from fiction movies of the 90s. A three-wheel base has an interesting feature. During cornering, it tilts entirely, up to an angle of 30 degrees. Engineers had been working on the creation of AKO for six years, and in May 2020 they presented an updated prototype as well as a final look of the device. A two-seater tricycle can travel more than 186 miles on a single charge. According to engineers, the maximum speed of a new product reaches 149 miles an hour, but it will be programmatically limited to lower values. This information was confirmed by an official representative of AKL. The total weight of the vehicle will be less than 992 pounds. Besides, you will need to obtain a driver's license to drive it. Inflatable Electric Scooter Poimo Could you imagine an inflatable electric scooter in the recent past? Creators of the Poimo project not only imagined but also decided to make their dream come true. In April 2020, an ultra-compact scooter was introduced. It weighs only 12 pounds. At the same time when folded, Poimo easily fits into a regular backpack. In working condition, it looks more like two inflatable cushions on a wheeled platform than a normal electric scooter. The project is currently under development and the exact specifications in terms of speed and range are unknown. Poimo Portable and Inflatable Mobility will include a removable wheelbase, an inflatable platform, a dedicated pump and steering arms. Creators of the electric scooter claim that despite its low weight, the base of the device has excellent strength and can easily bear the weight of an average person. Electric Bike Upco FRX1 Engineers behind the Ubco FRX1 say their design is the middle ground between an electric bike and a motocross bike. With a relatively light weight of 132 pounds, the bike has an impressive power of 15 kilowatts and boasts a range of 62 miles. The Nematic FR1 electric bike was taken as a basis, which was significantly boosted in terms of structural features and design. As a result, the engineers built an off-road bike with impressive performance. The Upco FRX1 has a top speed of 50 miles an hour, which is more than enough for cross-country driving. It has got a programmable regenerative braking mechanism, 19-inch alloy wheels, and a dedicated smartphone app. With the help of software, the bike owner can adjust the suspension and peak power parameters, as well as control other functions. However, the FRX1 will cost a lot, as a minimum price starts at €9,000. Six-Wheeled Skate Freeboard 5X When people describe riding the Freeboard 5s, they often say that it's like riding a snowboard. The only difference is that it takes place on an asphalt surface. 
Creators of Freeboard managed to achieve such an unusual effect and free movement in any direction due to the unique chassis. Two three-wheeled platforms allow the board owner to perform unique tricks previously impossible on any known skateboard. However, six wheels is not the only feature of a new board. An advanced independent suspension works in tandem with them, which greatly facilitates board control. Moreover, a skater can redistribute the weight at any time by engaging the wheels he or she needs. Creators of Freeboard compare the movement on a six-wheeled board with a controlled drift, which allows moving it in any direction and even riding in the sideboard position. Electric Bike Model 1 Retro-style vehicles are always trendy, especially if a new generation high-tech filling is hidden under the outer shell. This is the mix that Civilized Cycle's Model 1 electric bike is all about. Developers tried to combine a moped, a scooter, and an electric bike all in one, taking all the best from each of them. The result of four years' work is an unusual bike with a retro design. In addition to the original look, the Model 1 features a range of 24 miles, a top speed of 28 miles an hour, and a 750-watt engine. However, what really sets this bike apart from the competition is its expanding rear storage base, capable of carrying 50 pounds. When folded, their capacity is only 20 liters. However, when you unfold them, you get an 80 liters luggage compartment, which is a practical and an original solution. Which of the presented vehicles did you like most and why? We'd love to hear your opinion in the comments below the video. See you at the Innovative Tech Channel.